Mario Kart is a beloved gaming franchise within the racing genre that's known to test the limits of a friendship. However, as a legally blind gamer, it's never been my go-to game. At least until now. You see, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe just released for the Nintendo Switch. This is an updated version of the 2015 Wii U game Mario Kart 8. When Mario Kart 8 came out, I, I tried it. I really did, and I, I really wanted to like it, but... I just found it to be visually inaccessible. As a kart racing game, it was a lot of fun to play with friends and family, but I was never the one to come up on top. I was always the one who would fall off the stage and yeah. Oftentimes my eyes just aren't able to keep up with the fast paced movements, especially on those accurate sharp turns. Due to this, I've always found my footing in the franchise's staple battle mode. This was a secondary mode that had a different play style, more like bumper cars because you, you wouldn't try to race, but you'd be in this arena with all of your opponents trying to do other objectives like pop each other's balloons, throw bombs at each other, and, and try to knock each other out. Mario Kart 8's original release eliminated the battle mode that I personally loved and ended up transforming it into more of a racing style gameplay. This change didn't only upset me, but it also turned the heads of many other gamers. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe changes all of this. Not only is battle mode back to its classic state, but new modes such as capture the flag and copy and robbers have been included. For those of us who have a hard time playing games with our hands gripped traditionally, well, the Switch's Joy-Con controllers offer the flexibility of breaking off from that locked position. Okay, but what about the conventional racing? Why would someone like myself, with a visual parent, want to pay $60 to play half of a game? Well, that's because Nintendo has actually included an accessibility feature that has allowed even myself to enjoy Mario Kart's infamous racing mechanics for the first time. Introducing Smart Steering. This feature is on by default, but is optional for more competitive or able-bodied players. By using Smart Steering, the game will catch you before taking a steep turn off course. If you're close towards the edge, your car goes autonomous and will put you back on track. I'm still waiting for my self-driving car, but in the meantime, this will do. Finally, I can play Mario Kart against my friends, this time with an advantage comparable to their 2020 vision, simply by letting Jesus take the wheel. Between the best battle mode yet and accessible racing mechanics, this is really shaping up to be my favorite Mario Kart in the series yet. Thanks for listening to me. However, I want to hear from you. Let me know in the comments down below. Do you think smart steering is giving too much an advantage or or is it like a balanced mechanic? Because I've heard from competitive Mario Kart players that it's, it's fairly balanced and they don't mind it. So let me know down below. Is this something that makes you want to try Mario Kart if you are a disabled gamer or an able-bodied gamer? Let me know. I want to hear from you. Also, if you want to see me uh, totally blindfolded with no vision whatsoever, play the Nintendo Switch with my friend Tommy Edison, another popular YouTuber. He's completely blind since birth. Uh, check out that video up. It's, it's around my head. Check it out. I can't see it. Uh, <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like it, subscribe. I'm actually going to be at E3 this year. I'll give you guys some more details on that when we get closer to June. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye.